industrial applications. How do you make them scalable, real-time and with low latency? I'm here with Esteban Valverde and he's an embedded system engineer, an FPGA engineer at Altera Corporation. And we're here at the Embedded World. Yes, we are. In Germany. It's a great exhibition. But yes. tell me more about it. So can you give some examples how you can make industrial applications with FPGA scalable? Yes, uh, of course. So what we implemented here is motor controls. Motor control is practically everywhere. Mm -hmm. If you think about an industrial setup where you have production lines, mm -hmm. all that production lines work with motor controls. Mm -hmm. So in this demo, we showcase a little bit how you can do a scalable, predictive, and real-time motor control in mm -hmm. FPGAs. And what are key challenges that industrial applications are facing with all the motors? And so right now is the usability of it, mm -hmm. uh, also the flexibility, mm -hmm. the ability, for example, that you can implement more motors in one single chip. Mm -hmm. In this example design, we have two motor controllers, but thanks to the flexibility of the FPGA, you can scale that and have eight, 16 motor controllers in one single FPGA. And what does it mean if you don't do it with an FPGA? Is it, you do have it not scalable, you need more chips or? What's... You will need more software, more okay. chips, you are compromising a, li a little bit the synchronization, mm -hmm. the real time, the capabilities of having parallel execution of the motor control. And those are the benefits of, of implementing this kind of system for industry in FPGA. And what kind of impact does it have for industrial organizations? Is it lowering the cost? Is it increasing the flexibility if they need updates? Yes, exactly. That's the nature of the FPGA. Let's mm -hmm. say you have to change and you have to introduce an additional ax axis, mm -hmm. or you have you want to introduce an additional actuator mm -hmm. or ad an additional sensor. With FPGA, you, you create your functional box, mm -hmm. you put it into the FPGA, and it's ready to, to work. Yeah. And, and one point we mentioned is low latency. Yes. So what kind of data is transferred for low latency with all the... Yeah, so in these cases, we have data like uh, speed, position mm -hmm. of the motors, that you need to guarantee that they are going to be read and write into times that you need. And there is a lot of precision going on in there that is requiring manufacturing in all places from any of the production lines that you can think of. And is it also used for anomaly detection? Yes, it could be used for, for anomaly detection as well in many production lines if you have the right ingestions of sensors that allow you to do that. So it's used for predictive analytics? and for predictive maintenance. Yes, you can use the data, like in this demo, of the speed and the position, the current values, the voltage values, also to use it in predictive maintenance. And, yes. and what's then the benefits? You can maintain more machines with the same processor? You can, yes, you can have a lot of information exposed from your PLC application mm -hmm. that will allow you to process all that information that is useful in any manufacturing setup. And if people want to get started, how yeah. can they get access to some designs? Or? Yes, you can access the Intel Design Store. Yeah. And you can download the drive on chip design example available for Agile X devices. Perfect. Great insights. Thanks a lot. Thank you for watching here from the Embedded Systems in Germany at the Altera booth. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you.